Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5 The Royal. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, as uh, it is currently 11.03 p.m. There's no chance this is coming out at midnight properly, but it'll come out at some point. Let's uh, check our bond with Ryuji here. Hey, hey. Yo, what do you think about training a bit? We're gonna get rusty if we don't keep ourselves active. I feel like I can become closer with Ryuji thanks to the chariot Persona Slime, but I don't think my bond with Ryuji will deepen just yet. So what do you plan on doing? Want to hang out with Ryuji? Yeah. I'm not entirely sure... If, like, we're supposed to hang out with him multiple times? Or if we're supposed to wait? Come on. Uh, let me go Google this, because I'm actually really curious on how to, like, upgrade my personas. Or, uh, confidants, rather. All right, so there are ways to essentially make this turn into a rank up as opposed to what it is now, which is a non rank up bonus. And uh, during this non rank up bonus, we can buy gifts and give them to them during this scene that we're about to do. Uh, so we're going to go buy some gifts and then we'll go hang out with Ryuji. Uh, but like I was saying, there is ways to level it up. Sometimes it's random, like if you sleep during class, which is an ability you get later in the game. Or, uh, I think just even sleeping at nighttime, stuff like that. Um, it's random that you'll be able to upgrade him. Or, if you progress the story, you might find there's different things going on uh, with certain characters. Um, so I, that's essentially what I've learned. Uh, but essentially, uh, he does have a few things that he likes, and they're not terribly expensive. Like, they're pricey, sure, but they're not the worst thing ever. So let's go to Shibuya Underground Mall. And, uh, and see if we can buy something for them. Uh, there's a handy guide here on RPGsite.net, but they don't have anything for Ryuji. It was up to a commenter by the name of Toshi uh, for a list of upgrades and uh, benefits for certain characters. So we're going to see if we can buy some things. I know he likes instant ramen. He likes snack packs. Uh, so one of these places ought to sell them. As for which one, that is a good question. I'm assuming this uh, grocery store might have it. It seems like most of the stuff in the underground area is either accessories or, uh, yeah, these types of things. Let's see, what does he like? He likes dragon sword, keychains, Roombas, which is worth way too much, sporty sunglasses, wrist and ankle weights, instant cup ramen noodle sets, snack pack, and silver bangle. And I'm assuming that you need to give him more or less... Uh, different things each time. I don't think you can just keep giving him, like, instant cup ramen, but essentially the cheapest thing on the list is instant cup ramen noodles and dragon sword keychain, but I don't even... I'll be honest with you, I don't even know how to get that. Welcome. Uh, anyway. Oh, there's wrist rates, and there's the sport sunglasses. Um... I mean, I, I, I know he likes them. So you know what? Let's buy them. Only the best for our Ryuji-chan. I would like to find out where the uh, instant ramen is, though, because we can always hold on to the stuff for later. And depending on the character, you know, it's going to be more or less Take expensive. Book cover, glass vase, Sakura fan. Yeah, he doesn't care for any of this shit. Yeah, it seems like this whole underground area is just to find gifts. Have you made your decision? And I'll be honest, any video game, there's Silver Bangle. He loves this as well. Again, if we were filthy rich, then uh, sure, why not? But yeah, it's uh, it seems like this whole place is designed to help you Take satisfy time. the needs of your friends. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here that seems particularly great. I mean, obviously those are great buffs for our characters to get extra SP. What would you like? I think this is uh, probably Ryuji's favorite item right here. There you go. The crimson lipstick. <laughs> oh yeah, we can go further now. Underground walkway, is that the one? Or maybe, mm, I think it might be on the other side. I can't remember. This is what I get for teleporting or fast traveling here, right? It's just not Something that makes particularly a lot of sense to me. Okay, I don't think we're going that way. Do these both lead to the same thing? Underground walkway? It does. Everything just leads to the same place. Oh. There's nothing you need here, right? Aw, oh, man. What's this up here? Hey, welcome. Free to buy anything you'd like. Welcome. Hand warmalizer. Non-static gum. Non-static gum? 
Does gum produce lots of static in the mouth? I can't say I've ever noticed it. But uh, maybe I'm just not a gum aficionado. I mean, to be fair, I am not. I mean, the worst thing you could do, unless you're doing like ASMR, the worst thing you could do is like chew gum or eat food while you're like trying to talk into the microphone. Now, sure, if you're doing Twitch or something, or you're doing like a 24 hour stream, go ahead, eat. Eat away, my friend. But, uh, I mean, like, for a nice, short, 30-minute video like this, I mean, the only thing I'll be doing is slurping my drink. Uh, a vending machine with a display, huh? That stuff, the stuff it sells isn't anything very special, though. However, could any of it be cool? Nope, not really. I still love that instead of Dr. Pepper, it's Dr. Salt. And this one's called Dr. Salt Neo. I don't know what Neo implies. Maybe it's part of the, matri the Matrix or the One. Mm. Seems to have a lot of functions to make people look better in every picture, but it's a certification photo machine, right? Those these uh, pictures should not be manipulated. Let's be honest. You gotta look good for your uh, certification photo. Let's be real. You must care forever. It's alright. Those certification photos always make you look ten pounds heavier. It's the best. Oh, these guys have things on Sundays. We'll have to remember that for next time, because I totally forgot. All right, really? Really, is this like all the stuff available to us? I guess we can probably get instant ramen noodle maybe in, hmm, somewhere around here. Actually, you know what? No fast travel. Fast travel, bad. I can never understand where I am if I'm just fast traveling around. I understand the people that like to fast travel because it is convenient. You don't have to remember where anything is. You just kind of hang out, have a good time. It's still 28 for this, right? You have a lottery ticket? Yes, allow me to check the result. Oh, hey. Your result is the drawing. In the drawing, this is... Congratulations! You won 10,000 yen? Well... There you go. <laughs> I've got all that money back. You got pretty lucky. Use the money wisely, all right? Well, you know, as any upstanding citizen would do, is spend the money right back on another lottery ticket. Are you looking to buy a lottery ticket? Students are welcome to purchase one as well. So for 3,000 yen, we got... What, 4,000 yen? That's all right. All right, let's do it again. All in, baby. You can only really buy one, it seems. 5-4 is the next one. Might as well, right? I mean, it's a video game, so I'm assuming, like, the next one's probably going to be an instant failure. Let's be real. Unless they roll the dice, like, right then and there. For all I know. All right, one sec. Man had to drink his water. Welcome. All right, good. There's nothing new. I'm assuming things change with the months. It's got to be something like that. Oh, right. Oh, right. Never mind. Okay. The place is still closed. I swear there's got to be a place to buy uh, the noodles we're looking for, like beef bowl soup. I'd like to order takeout. Maybe not, man. Maybe I just don't have access to what I'm looking for just yet. At least we do have the weights. Unfortunately, we don't have the weighted clothing. In that case, we'd be living the dream, right? There's something really uh, endearing, though, about just kind of going around the entire map. Or, well, map. All of Tokyo. Or Yangon Jaya. Take your time. And just learning everything. Hey, there we go. Cup noodle set. That's the one. I'm assuming this is the same as Instant Cup Ramen because it's worth the same as well. All right, Ryuji. We'll give him the crappy one first. But at least we have the ankle weights for later to make him our better friend. Hmm. All right. Yes, I bought things for Ryuji so we can have a great old time. Oh. Tink Top Millionaire. Okay, we don't need to watch this a second time, although it would give me some more guts. I will not do that. What's up? Of course I changed my mind. We've already watched it, dude. Drugstore. Take your time. I don't know if I could ever really justify buying these things. Like, is it ever worth having a band-aid for 20 HP? I mean, in real life, make sure you have, you know, readily available first aid kit in your car or something like that. But in this case, in terms of the video game, Probably not something that really matters too much. Perhaps someone out there is like a god at like item management and understanding all the 
intricacies of it all, and so they probably don't have any problems whatsoever. Welcome. Funny enough, this is a place we can work, but I never what do you want to do? Really feel like it's worth it. I think there's ways to still level your guts though while working there, and also getting bonus pay depending on the situation. Although that's, I don't know if that. I mean, it's very gamified, obviously. I don't think that works that way in Japan, but you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Where you can get actual like mid. Like a raise mid-shift for working the same amount of hours. Usually it's hourly wages, at least here in Canada. If I worked harder one day, I would not get paid more. But if I worked less one day, say I was very tired going into work, and I didn't work as much as I normally do, I'm still going to get paid the same. And it kind of averages itself out, right? You're going to have days where you work really, really, really well, and days where you're just like not on it. It's just how it works, right? It's how humans work. Some days you're a god. Some, tame, well, some days, not so much. And uh, your wages just, I mean, as far as I understand it, shouldn't be changing. But maybe, <laughs> maybe you're, you get those types of bonuses in Japan. How would, how would I know, right? I don't, I don't know. I don't know shit. It's not something I've ever looked into, but I kind of have my doubts. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just part of the persona. For you tackling a situation correctly and making correct choices and having player agency. As cool as it is. I should also point out that the items that we purchase are three, or like, three ups. Like, three musical notes for Ryuji. And I don't know if you can hit, like, a cap on his friendship. You may notice we're actually just running all the way back. Because who uses fast travel? Am I right? What is this? Skyrim? Oh, even in Skyrim. Actually, I love In Oblivion. Like, uh, when I was a kid playing, like, Outer Scrolls for Oblivion, I would uh, fast travel everywhere. But as an adult, I actually really enjoy walking around and discovering all the dungeons and everything like that. That, that shit is real cool. Oh, Hey, hey. And uh, it completely changed my perception on the game and my perspective. Uh, actually traveling to, you know, that first area you have to go to after you leave the sewers. It's really cool stuff. I'm a big fan. Anyway, let's hang out. Wanna get going? Okay, go get changed. We're gonna do some jogging today. And maybe I'll be able to give him a present. I should be able to. I've never done this before. Ryuji seems satisfied. I think he had a pretty fulfilling workout. Maybe there's a way to make sure Ryuji has a good time. Oh, that's right. I do have something Ryuji might like. Considering Ryuji, I feel like he'd be happy to receive something fitting for his age. He's my age! How old is my character an old soul? I think, uh, you know, when we're working out, the thing that will really do you in good is some cup noodles. Whoa, there's a shit ton in here. Oh man, I don't know which one to try first. I ain't gonna be worrying about midnight snacks for a long time with this. Thanks, Akabani. There you go, confirmed. That gives you three uh, musical notes and then we have another one that'll give us another three musical notes. Feels like I really captured Ryuji's heart. Feel like my body with Ryuji will grow stronger soon. So we got six see points ya. just from hanging out with him. Well, see ya. Ain't that something. I think we should also study. And again, if, as long as our knowledge is not up there, I don't think it's worth doing uh, anything else other than study. Back. I don't mind if you use the coffee maker. Just clean up when you're done. Yeah, as cool as that would be. Oh, crossword! Okay. Let's do it. Crossword, crossword, crossword. All right, here we go. No helpsies on this crossword. I'm big smart. I know words. I'll eat those words. I'll eat those words. Now that I've said that. Whatever this is going to be, it's going to be a nightmare. All right, are you going to play crossword puzzles? You have other stuff to do, so don't get too into it. Um, Look over the trivia. Okay. Semesters. Many schools separate the year into two or three semesters. In Japan, the new semester begins in April. The government divides the year differently. For example, July to June is the wheat year. October and September is the sugar year and the pesticide year. And that's it. Okay. Hey. 
You never know when this kind of knowledge might come in handy. It'll be on the test. Hey. It'll be on the test. I know it is. All right. Um, play a little. Oh, yeah. Hanami Cherry Viewing Blossom, right? Right. Cherry Blossom Viewing. It's got to be. B-L-O-S-S-O-M. Why can't I do all of these, by the way? <clears throat> That's one thing I don't understand. Oh, uh, whatever. B. Or can I do others? Oh my god, there was multiples the whole time. I am a fool. Dear god, flower to be is a cross. So the one we need to do is down blossom. And then we also have a prepared out meal outdoors. What would be a prepared meal outdoors, bro? All right, first we gotta get these, these out of the way. It's weird that we're limited on the on the words we can use, but at the same time, it does make it a little bit easier for us. All right, so we got M left over, right? Um, okay, what's this one? This has sprung. This has sprung across. Damn it, I, I kind of hate that we missed out on the other crossword. I didn't realize you could fill these others out. I thought you were supposed to just do the one, which makes me dumb. Um, the dumbest, as we all know. Um, flower to be. A bud. It's a dud. A bud, bud. Hell yeah. I got that one. That one out of the way. This has sprung. Um... Man, this is probably gonna suck for everyone that's actually good at these things, man. Shit. Uh, cause this has got a lot harder. I'm not realizing that, uh, there's all this shit going on. And then a prepared meal outside. Not ramen, right? No, it can't be ramen. I mean... Prepared meal outdoors, wouldn't it be like barbecue? Um... What else would you prepare outside? Oh, a picnic. Picnic. Never mind. I, I, I thought it was, like, specifically pertaining to, like, how you would cook it. All right. So, P-I-C-N-I-C. Picnic. Blossom. So, M is accounted for, so all we got left is R-A-P-I-G. Um... R-A-P-I-G. Like, and it has an N in it, right? So, I don't know, like, sirloin? No. Salmon? This has sprung. Oh, yeah. Uh, spring? <laughs> no. Yeah, I guess so. You can sprung a spring. Oh no, I don't have enough. I, okay, hold on. I feel like the eye needs to be here. Oh right, we can't put the M in there. That's right. Aha. Oh, I'm just really dumb. Uh, S, <laughs> S R. There we go. How did I mess that up? How did my brain just, like, think I didn't have the right things for it? No, spring. There we go. Springs are sprung. Flower to bees are buds. And a prepared meal outdoors is a picnic. And then lastly, the blossom, buddy. Woohoo! I've got it! Oh, wait, hold on. Blossom. Known as a flower watching in English, Hanami is an old Japanese tradition for viewing the cherry blossom and enjoying the arrival of spring. Flower mentioned... Oh, was I supposed to somehow, like, finish the other ones? Hold on. I, see. I couldn't even figure that one out. Nice. 
Maybe you got a bit smarter after that. No! No! <laughs> I, I ranked up my knowledge, but I think I was supposed to en engage. Fire! <laughs> okay, one sec. Now I gotta reload the save. Okay, there we go. Um, how do I can? Is there not a way to like confirm these, or is the only way? I think what it was is that if you get all of them right, then time does not progress. Period. I think that's what it is. I'm fairly certain now that I think about it. Cause I can't just confirm that. Yeah, there you go. So I think it's because we completed the entire puzzle. Time will no longer move. Flower mentioned in traditional Japanese poetry actually refers to the plum flower. It said that cherry blossoms overtook the usage during the Heian period. All right. That's cool. See. We literally got one... We got one big smart from this, but at least it levels up our knowledge. Which is pretty dope. So now we are learned. We're a head-turning smart boy. And it's not very kind, proficient, or gutsy. All right. We're basically slightly better than a Chad. <laughs> slightly. Uh, we could hang out with our boy Sojiro. I should have thought about this before. <laughs> well, if you want to help out with the other work, I feel like I can become closer with him. But I don't think my bond with Sojiro will deepen just yet. Do I hang out with him? Or do I decline? I don't have any gifts for him, and I feel like I can control F this site here. So, Jiro. For some reason, I can't control F any of this crap. Oi, bro, where's So, Jiro? How does this guy not have, like, everything that's extremely important? Or does Sojiro not have gifts? Yeah, something's telling me that. <laughs> Maybe he's just not on a list because he doesn't have any gifts. Weird. All right, well, maybe we will help him out then. Fuck it. All right then. All right, put your stuff down and grab an apron. Don't forget to wash your hands. Sojiro's guidance is extremely precise. I did just as he told me. I feel like my bond with Sojiro will grow stronger soon. All right. Thanks. Hey, thanks for helping me out. We'll help him out the next night and then we'll advance. He had a change of heart for real, didn't he? It's kind of hard to believe right now. I'm gonna cry if we still get expelled after all this. Let's believe and wait. Whoa! Man, you're like so calm. Aren't you worried at all? Oh yeah, you free today? If you got nothing to do, come see me after school. It's not like I got something to say, but I find talking helps calm the nerves. Our romance is growing with Ryuji. He loves us. He really loves us. <sighs> but what his waiting seems kind of boring. How about we hit up the batting cage? There is one right by the supermarket in Yongin, right? Apparently the batting cage in the first game, or well, I keep saying the first game. Whenever I say the first game, I'm referring to the uh, original release of this game. Uh, batting cage was, you know, kind of sucked eggs. I'm hoping they buffed it. I kind of want to talk today. I kind of want to talk today. Well, more like, I gotta unload all this crap off my chest. Why don't we go grab some ramen? You know, shake things up. I'll take you over to the special shop I know. I feel like I can become closer with him. I feel like my bond with Ryuchi will grow stronger soon. <laughs> go out with him. All right, here we go. The bromance begins. It's kind of far, but the flavor's killer. Get pumped, dude. It's over in Akikubo. 
So let's grab a train over there. Yo! So as we build up our confidants, we're able to go to new places. That's huge. Okikubo, a quiet and convenient residential district famous for its ramen. Lip smacking good ramen. The deep flavor of the old style soy broth is worth the long wait in line. Oh yeah, dude. Right. You can also invite people who may enjoy eating ramen to hang out with you there. Well, there you go. I like how it puts emphasis on may enjoy. I doubt Alan would be much of a ramen girl. I think she's more of a sushi dude. Uh, there, we, there are a number of hangout spots in the city, such as shops, event venues, landmarks, and so on. Confidants will each have their own favorite hangout spot. If you go there with them, your bond will grow even deeper than it normally would. You can learn about hangout spots by having confidant invite, yeah, confidants invite you there or by reading about them in books. Oh, that's what that pamphlet's for. Okay. Uh, try to find as many as you can. Well, that's awesome, man. That's really cool. Oh, nice. Even a cooler transition and everything. <laughs> ah, I left feeling all, the feeling of noodles sliding down my throat. Sweet sweat dripping over my face. This shit's the best, man. Ramen is life. Light soup like this really gets your body going again after a good run, you know? We used to come all the way out here after practice and... Uh, I guess that's all in the past. <sighs> By the way, I've seen Nakaoka around a few times. But for some reason... Don't look like he's getting along with the others. Are you worried about him? Yeah, kinda. Oh, give me a sec here. All right, looks like I picked the right choice there. There's actually only one or two good choices in these things, which is super weird. Yeah, kinda. I've been thinking about what he said. How the whole track team was putting up with Kamashita's shit. And how I effed it all up for him. I think he was right. They don't even got a club anymore, so they've been storing all their stuff behind the gym. They can't use any school gear either, so they just run laps around the block for practice. There ain't really a place for outcasts like that. I should know that better than anyone. It's good they're keeping their heads low now, though. I don't want him ended up like me. Hey man, you're doing great. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I guess now that I'm thinking about it, trying to fit in is a real pain in the ass. I mean, I'd never have met you guys if I wasn't an outcast, right? So, uh, it's all good. <laughs> For real, though. It's been a shit ton of fun. Hanging out with you guys is so freaking cool. I feel like my bond with Ryuji is getting bigger. Ooh, ooh. There you go, rank four. Stealth dash. Makes you less likely to be found in the metaverse while dashing. Not particularly the most useful thing in the world, but it's something. Right. Your chariot confidant has increased rank four. Very cool stuff. Hmm. I just hope there's something I can do to help those track guys. Though, I'd probably mess them up if I tried to butt in. Oh yeah, we still got to find a new spot for our training. Hmm, I'll think about it. No slacking off till then, okay? See ya! Later, dude. That was cool. I like these little hangouts with the confidants. Tokyo uh, Tourist. You're back. Oh, cool. Alright, any more? Nope, no new crosswords. Feels bad, man. I should write something. Let's do a little savey save. And ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've been enjoying the series. I know I have. And I'll see you all in the next episode of some more Persona 5 The Royal. Take it easy.